In this video, we will show you how to set up different units of measurement in Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central. Here we have a pine board with different units of measure already set up. You can see the purchase unit is set to board foot, while the base and sales unit are set to linear feet. On the Units of Measure page, you can easily add or remove different units. You can also set your base unit of measure at the bottom of the page. Now let's create a purchase order for this item. One to the item number and the quantity in board foot. Once posted, we can go back to the item and see the new inventory level. Here you can see the quantity has been updated to linear foot. You can also use variants to set up different barcodes for different lengths. Each of these can have their own unit of measure which makes it easy during a sale. Let's look at another item with different units of measure already set up. Here we have a stainless steel chain that's sold by the foot. On the units and measure page, you can see that we receive it by the pallet and sell it by the foot or by the roll if the customer wants to buy the complete roll. Let's look at this in a sale. First we'll add a few of our pine board variants. As you can see, as we add the different lengths, the unit of measure changes with it. Now we'll add our roll of chain. You can see the quantity is up for one roll and the price is different than if someone was going to be just be buying one foot of chain. Thank you for watching.